That's what I'm going to end with a story, and it's the story of a mouse. And I've told this many times. There was a little mouse that always kept looking out his window. And way far away, I could see this magnificent white mountain. And I had such a yearning, it was compelled to go. So it said to that of his family, I must leave. I have to go to the top of the mountain. So it took his little knapsack and then started out and started walking down that other path. And he walked and he walked and soon he came and there was a great big hump, a great big lump of something in its path. But it was very really frightened so it jumped behind that of the mulberry bush and heard it groan. Mm. And this magnificent said to you, Mmm. And the mouse got his shivering. He said, Who are you? He said, Oh, I'm the buffalo. What are you doing, buffalo? I am dying. Oh, the mouse was so frightened. He says, But my little brethren, if you give me one of your eyes, I will not die. Oh, no, the mouse was shivering. But he looked at it and saw all the magnificence and the beauty of this buffalo. And said, oh, I cannot let it die. And it agreed. And instantaneously, the eye poked out. And the buffalo jumped up. And the buffalo said to his little friend, what is it now that I can do for you? He said, well, you see, I have to go to the top of that mountain. And I need to get there, but I can't see very well now. So the buffalo said, just jump on that little cup of my fur, and I'll take you away, but I can't take you all the way. So the buffalo let him go, and he began his journey again. Again, there was another big lump in that of his path, and he jumped again behind that of the mulberry bush. And the voice said, Little mouse, I'm dying. Oh, the little mouse was really shivering because this was a wolf. And he looked at it and he said, oh, it's so beautiful. But the wolf said, I won't die if you just give me your eye. Oh, no, the mouse thought, if I give him that of my other eye, I cannot see. And I will not be able to know how to get to the top of the mountain. But he agreed. It was too beautiful. So instantaneously, I popped out and the wolf jumped up. He said, what can I do for you, my little brother? He said, I need to go to the top of the mountain. He said, hold on my back. I will take you to the bottom, but I can't take you to the top. And he did. Now the little mouse is climbing. Oh, he's climbing and he's climbing, but he can't see. He's climbing and he falls and he scrapes out of his legs and his feet and he doesn't know what's happening and he falls back, but he still keeps climbing and climbing and climbing, and he falls back, and he climbs again, he falls back. Now he's just exhausted. He is so tired. And finally, he just collapsed in exhaustion. After a short time, he woke up. He said, oh, there's something very different. I don't know what this is. He noticed that he had something to the right of himself and to the left. And now he noticed that, oh, these are wings. What has happened? The mouse awakened at the top of the mountain. Yes, he climbed that mountain in blind faith, and so is every one of you. And yes, you get tattered and torn, and you get tired, and you fall back, and you go forward, but you keep going, because that is faith. And when you get to the top of the mountain, just as a little mouse, the mouse became the eagle, that eagle. That magnificent ego, and he did, uplift himself, began to soar across that of the heavens, and he was freed, he was happy. Now each of you are becoming the angels. The moral of the story, beloved souls, is you all have to give up your eyes. I this, I that, I this, I that. And you will meet those they will ask of you to do just that. To think of them instead of self, or to aid others. But also you must think of self. But the moral of the story, beloved souls, simply, that yes, you are climbing the mountain in blind faith.
and you will get to the top of the mountain, and you will have your wings, and you will be loving. So, of course, that's metaphoric. The wings mean you have that flotation of energy. You have that magnificent physical etheric light that surrounds and engulfs you and will carry you to your next destiny. Love the most. Be the most. Continue to climb that mountain, beloved souls. Be strong. Hold strong. As we all, from where I be, will greet you. And take you, beloved souls, to such an incredible place and places that you have forgot, but are beginning to remember that we will return you home. So I say this to you, beloved beings. Go forth, be about your father and mother's business. Be. Be happy. Be love. Yes, I know you're in a human body. And yes, I know that you have an emotional body. But you're learning. You're growing. Hug yourself. Pat yourself on the back. Say, I'm doing it. I'm getting there. I'm learning. Yes, you are. Go be the light. Be the dancers. I say now to you, Adonai, Adonai Basu Barogus. It is the breath of the eternal one that is within all. And within, we are all one throughout the whole of creations within creation. So go forth and be happy. So it is. So mote it be. I leave thee now.